Hi everyone, Clam Guy Steve here. I thought I'd go over identification of the various species of clams that are available in Middle California near San Francisco Bay Area. Um, I noticed that a lot of people misidentify the various clams, so let's get to it. So, you'll notice I've got a good variety of clams here. Some of them are the same species. This is a gooey duck. You can get three of these per day. This is a gaper. You can get 10 of these a day. Um, this is also called Empire Horse, Horse Neck Clam. It has a lot of names. This is a Washington, also known as a butter clam. Uh, some people call them quahogs. That's incorrect because quahog is an East Coast clam. This is a little neck. It's one of the several species of steamer clams. They're steamed whole and usually cooked in stews or chowders. This is a cockle. You'll notice it looks like the shell on a shell sign. So it, its a notable trait is that it has these rays going out from the center. Okay, the uh, little neck has similar rays, but they're not as pronounced. It also has concentric rings. These concentric rings are growth rings. You'll notice that the Washington clam has very similar uh, rings. They're not as um, pronounced. Well, they're actually more pronounced. This Washington was dug in one type of soil. This Washington was dug in a different soil. They're the same species. The color variation is from the soil. This is a horse clam. This is also a horse clam. This horse clam, you'll notice, has a darker color and it's also white on the edge of the shell. That's because it's more mature and the skin uh, wears away with time. This one is a juvenile or a young clam, so you'll notice that the color is a lighter tan and it's not quite wearing away as badly on the where the hinge is. Uh, both are horse clams. And the giveaway on the horse is the uh, tough chitin, um, like a thumbnail here. They have the, their giveaway is the thumbnail. Also, their uh, siphon, if you look at them in the water, it'll have tentacles. It'll look like an octopus's tentacles. The gooey duck does not have those tentacles. It does not have the chitin here. It doesn't have the thumbnail. This is also a gooey duck, but it's a juvenile one. I thought uh, I would show you the giveaway is the siphon and you can see it's not slick it's um, still alive but it is uh, it when they're young they fit entirely in the shell the Washington is similar to the gooey duck in that it has no chitin no, no tough uh, skin on the tip like a thumbnail but it has a slimy texture. That's another giveaway. The shell of the Washington is very dense. It's very thick. The horse or uh, gaper clam has a fairly thin shell. As they get more mature, the shell thickens and it, it, it never gets as dense as the Washington, but it becomes more, it'll, it becomes stronger and less likely to break. The gaper, or excuse me, the gooey duck, the giveaway is it does not fit within its shell. Where its uh, foot would be, you'll see that the gooey duck, it has a foot here, but it holds it inside this tough skin. And this is, it, this one's alive, so it's trying to pull itself entirely into its skin, and it can't do it. You'll also notice the shape. The gooey duck dents in here, and dents in here. The gray color is fairly typical of gooey duck in this part of California. They're exceedingly hard to find. Uh, they're very sought after. You'll also notice the color on the flesh is a slightly lighter tan than it is on the um, gaper clam. Another giveaway. This is a species of clam that I am not sure of. It has 
concentric rings similar to the Washington, but they're further apart. This would be consistent with what I would call a, a Keone clam, but they're Southern California clams, and the size is wrong and the uh, shape is wrong for it to be a Keone. I suspect it to be a subspecies of either Keone or Washington. Don't know the name. Somebody could find that out for me, I'd appreciate it. 